Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon and Nostalgic Runner, and we are back. Um, this is actually, I know I haven't done this in a while, but this is Get Fit With Me Presents Accountability, and we are back at it. So, for those who are not aware, I did finish my 50k, and, 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 and. And I will present a picture of what the medal looks like. And then also how I was looking the day before the day of the race, the morning of. And then also I will show then like part of the part of the course. Um, but yeah, I got it done. It was exactly 31 points, like two miles. Um, so a marathon plus basically. And yeah, I am so relieved. So glad I got that done because now we're at full reset mode. Um, I'm not as sore as I thought it would be. I thought I'd be super, super sore afterwards. Um, I am still a little sore. I probably could have went to the gym today, but I'm going to give it one more day. I'm going to go to the gym on Wednesday because my event was on Saturday. And then I still went to the Chicago Marathon the next day and cheered everyone on. Like, I still had enough energy to do that and hung out with my friends. Then we just celebrate each other's victories. So, yeah, I got it done. <laughs> so, I, so this video is not going to be that long. I just kind of wanted to state that I'm glad I finally got to it. And I think that even though I was undertrained, I made it work. And some of the things I did this year, even though I couldn't run as much as I wanted to, was I cycled more which was very very important for like the pounding so that my knees weren't bothering me so I had no issues with the knees like pretty much the whole entire time I did have well I lied my left knee was kind of bothering me a little bit but that had a lot to do with um my um shin splints came back because for those who don't know the reason why I had to change my focus on even how I was training was Shortly after I did that half marathon, um, my Achilles tendonitis like came back. Um, it came back literally two weeks before the race. So I ran, but not much. But I did make sure I had plenty of time on feet. AK, I still walked everywhere. Um, I'm glad I got like a 10 mile walk in at one point in time during my training this year. So I knew if worse came to worse, I could try to run the first like 21 miles and then walk the rest of it or just do a good walk run and it'll get done. And pretty much that's what I did. Um, I met someone on the course. I'm a new friend who lives in the burbs and we linked up and tackled it together. She was under train too. And she, and so we got it done. It was just, it was amazing. I actually did cry at the finish line because I just didn't, I really didn't want to do the race. I mean, for those who've been following my channel and following me talking about this race, I was dreading it. I just wanted to, it to be over with. And now that we're in the, on the other side, I can now focus on getting my weight under control and get back to running shorter distances and getting my speed back. So, um, yeah. So we're good here. So tomorrow we're going back to like a basic training plan and um, let's, let me kind of go over what, what what we're looking at. So after pretty much now, <laughs> or really after this whole thing, I am going to be going into the gym for the rest of the month of October. Uh, five, well, this week's four times a week, and then all the other um, times will be five times a week. So it's going to be five times a week at the gym. And... Um, but the most I'm going to be running that I have that I'm running is probably like four miles. Like we're going to just really, really focus on shorter distances and also add more cardio. So another thing I've been doing because I haven't been able to run is I actually started doing the elliptical again, started doing steps. Um, yeah, I found a whole bunch of other things to do to make it work because, you know, I don't want to injure myself more. And I know I just need to lose some of the weight and then possibly I'm, gonna tr I'm trying to avoid it. If things don't get better, I might have to actually go to PT. I don't really want to. I have the script so I could, but 
already owe from like my MRI and everything else. I really don't want to go there. But yeah, but anyway, I just wanted to let y'all know I finally got it done. So, and honestly, me making these videos, no matter how many people view them, it has helped me. It's make it's helped me stay on top of things and and it's keeping me motivated. So, but that's pretty much all I have when it comes to this video. Um, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. I will start having more of these again, but it's going to be a little bit more intentional, more strict, more based on strength training, more based on some of the other things I do. Um, and I do want to kind of start on a ground zero to kind of highlight me losing weight. Because right now, I'm not where I want to be. I've maintained pretty much this whole entire summer. Um, but it's a higher weight than maintaining. I want to get back down to where I, you know, feel better. So anyway. Anyway, please like, comment, subscribe to check the game thing out the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon Nostalgic Runner. And I will see you next time. Bye.